Filipinos love to sing. No celebration is complete without a karaoke or video machine. Contemporary music in the Philippines is a product of our indigenous traditions and the colonial influences. Though the country is geographically located in the East, our music is heavily influenced by the West. This is no doubt due to being under centuries of Spanish rules and almost half a century under American control. Music is a universal form of art. It is defined as the manipulation of sound and silence. It blends the different elements such as pitch, rhythm, dynamics, timber, and texture to create sound. It is performed by utilizing different instruments, vocal techniques, and styles. It can be performed live or recorded and can be prepared in advance or improvised. Music comes in a variety of music genres, with each genre having its subcategory. Here are some of the most common music genres. Art music Art music is the umbrella term used to refer to music that stems from Western classical music. It is usually presented and preserved through written musical notations that were developed in Europe. Popular music generally refers to music that is accessible and commercially available to the public. It is played or disseminated through different mass media outlets such as radios, televisions, and the internet. Traditional music are musical forms that are communally and culturally based. It is diverse with one community or group often having a different form from another. It is learned and, it is learned and preserved by passing it from one generation to another through oral communication and actual performance. Kundiman is a musical form that is a product of Spanish colonization. Kundiman is an art song that signifies love and affection for someone. The Kundiman, like many art songs, is performed as solo vocal composition combined with an instrumental accompaniment to achieve musical harmony. The Kundiman is described as highly emotional and sentimental because it expresses personal sorrow. It can be about love or patriotism. The lyrics of traditional Kundiman made use of old and archaic Tagalog. The melody is often smooth, flowing, and gentle rhythm. Examples of which are Nicanor S. Abelardo's Nasan Kairoko and Dr. Francisco Santiago's Pakiusa. Many Kundiman music were often used for traditional Filipino culture. The traditional kundiman is rarely, is rarely heard in the present exam for the occasional radio play in the AM radio. Contemporary kundiman is often the modern iteration of the art form, using contemporary vernacular lyrics and accompanied by electronic music. The kundiman is often mistaken for the harana, which is another Spanish-influenced musical form. The harana is a traditional courtship ritual in the Philippines, wherein a suitor serenades his object of affection. Almost any love song can be sung during the harana, including kundiman songs. Traditional harana also uses deep Tagalog words and it's used to implore world to listen or give attention such as Dungawin Mo, Hiram, and O Ila. The harana is almost always performed by a man while the kundima can be performed by both genders. Collections of traditional and modern interpretations of kundima and harana can be found and heard on the internet. The ballad is traditionally a song that narrates an event in a community. There are many examples of traditional ballads throughout the Philippines. The style varies from region to region and from ethnic tribe to another. Some examples are Idang Idang of Bukidnon, 
iiangkit parang sa Bill of the Tausu and komposo of Heligaynon. A popular example of traditional ballad would be Yoyo Williamist Magellan. It must be mentioned that in modern times, the term ballad has been applied to describe love songs, and a ballader is an artist whose set of songs is primarily composed of romantic songs. Notable Filipino contemporary ballad composers are Hernani Cuenco and Jose Marie Chan. Some of the most popular and successful Filipino contemporary balladers include Regine Velasquez Alcacid, Sara Geronimo, Jed Madela, and many more. Chamber music is a form of instrumental music composed by a small ensemble wherein each part is played by one player as opposed to an orchestra where a part is performed by a group of musicians. Chamber music is usually performed by a group of three to eight musicians. Chamber music in the country was pioneered by Dr. Francisco Santiago and Nicanor S. Abelardo, who received training abroad and later on shared with a younger generation of composers. More contemporary chamber music examples include Arlene Chongson's The Dian 1 and 2 and Conrado del Rosario's Yugto for the chamber ensemble. Some popular chamber music groups in the Philippines include the Clarion Chamber Ensemble and the String Minstrels. Choral Music Choral music is a musical composition intended to be performed by a group of singers called choir. The choir is arranged accordingly to the voice categories such as soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. The early choirs in the Philippines perform in churches, singing religious hymns during the Mass. This is still practiced today with many churches and religious groups having their own choir composed of talented volunteers. Schools also have their own choral groups that perform here and abroad. Perhaps the most well-known school choir is the choral group of the University of the Philippines, the Philippine Madrigal Singers or the Mads. The Mads is one of the most awarded choral groups in the Philippines and in the whole world. They have been taught and trained by some of the country's best musical composers and arrangers such as Eudenis Palaruan, Robert Delgado, and Fidel Kalal. Some other well-known and internationally recognized choral groups in the Philippines include the Samuel uh, Singers of Lawag, Ilocos Norte, the University of Visayas Choral, and the Zamboanga Hermosa Choral. Liturgical music are songs intended for Christian church services. Its early form was inspired by Jewish chants during their religious rituals. Many musicians have adopted liturgical music to reflect contemporary music styles and forms. Some of these artists include National Orchestra Francisco F. Palaciano, as seen in his work Mass of Saints, Andrew, Ryan Kayabiab with his work Misa, and the praise and gospel songs of Gary Valencia. Opera is a combination of both music and theater. It is a song, drama that entails collaborative efforts of singers, dancers, composers, choreographers, etc. One type of song found in an opera is the aria, which is a song sung in a solo that portrays the character's emotional state. The opera was introduced in the Philippines in the middle of the 1800s. Many Filipino musicians have adapted the form to reflect more contemporary Filipino experiences and tastes. Examples of which are Felipe Padilla's Nolime Tangere, the first full-length Filipino opera, and Reynaldo T. Pagwe and Fides Asensio's Mayo Besperes ng Liwanag, which was based on a short story by Nick. Notable Filipino opera singers include Jovita Fuentes, the first Filipina to be recognized as national artist for music, and the female soprano Rachel Guerrero-Diaz, or Rachel Herodias. 
popular music or pop music is used to describe music that is readily available to the world populace. It is an umbrella term that encompasses a multitude of different genres of music such as R&B, rap, rock, hip-hop, dance, etc. Many critics look down on this type of music because some songs gain recognition due to their popularity and rarely for their quality. A song's popularity can be manipulated through the amount of radio play, marketing hype, and gimmicks of recording companies which often overshadow a song's creative merits. Many of the popular music played in the Philippines are Western imports that become a strong influence to many contemporary singers and artists. Filipino musicians create their own version of pop music by combining the Western style with Filipino takes. Early examples of Filipino pop were Fred Panopio's O Ang Mga Babae and Yoyo Williams' Mag Exercise Tayo Tuwing Umaga. Pinoy pop or Filipino pop music came about when Filipino musicians wanted to create music that they can call their own. These composers and musicians focused on the youth for support and gave birth to early Pinoy rap. A product of this genre was Ang Timig Natin by the Juan de la Cruz Bond, and this song inspired other Pinoy rock artists such as Sampagita and Mike Hanopol. The musical group Hat Dog similarly combined Western pop with Filipino lyrics and created what was then known as Manila Sound. These songs were light and carefree, using words and lyrics that combined Tagalog and English. These songs were quickly accepted by the youth of the time. Songs that fall into his songs that fall into this category include Ikaw Ang Miss Universe ng Buhay Ko by Hat Dog and Ako Hiking Society's Mahirap Magmahal ng Shota ng Iba. Pinoy folk music is a genre of Pinoy pop that is heavily influenced by the musical style of Western pop singers such as Bob Dylan, Peter Paul, and Mary among others. Well, well-known Pinoy pop musicians include Freddie Aguilar, Noel Tabangon, Grace Nono, and Gary Granada. Like their Western counterparts, these songs are often accompanied by classical and acoustic guitars and their messages are often commentaries about society. Some artists of folk music such as Joey Ayala and Bayang Barrios have incorporated ethnic instruments and styles from the different ethnic groups, combining the traditional with modern sounds. Rap as a music genre that became popular in the late 1980s in the Philippines. It originated from the African Americans and, in, and is distinctive of its fast and rhythmic narration accompanied by electronic music. The pioneers of Pinoy rock were Francis Magalono with his song Mga Kababayan Ko and Andrew E. with his song Humanap Ka ng Pa. Closer related with rock is hip hop. This music genre incorporates not only rap but also includes R&B, beatboxing, and electronic and turntables as accompaniment. Many contemporary Filipino rap artists identify themselves as both hip-hop and rap artists. Contemporary rap artists include Black Nine, Abra, and Filipino-American Apple Diop, among many others. Pinoy pop music continues to struggle against foreign songs for airplay, whether it's from the Western or from other Asian countries like Korea and Japan. But Filipino musicians have not given up. They continue to write music adapting to the ever-changing taste of the pop. Probe songs are songs that bring to light injustices and inequality in society. This seek to inspire nationalism and heroism from their listeners. This can come in many musical forms and genres such as condiment as seen in Bayan Ko. Bayan Ko is one of the most popular and recognizable examples of a protest song. It was a collaboration between Jose Corazon de Jesus, who wrote the lyrics that was set to music by Constancia de Guzman. Although it was made almost a century ago, this song is still used in many protest movements because of the strong emotional effect and it 
has on its ob objects. The song's melody is similar with the one that loves song, but instead of being dedicated to a woman, this is a tribute to the motherland and the plea of its citizens to be free from struggle and oppression. The song was first used as a call of independence from the Americans and later on from the Japanese. It was also a popular song used in rallies and marches during the Marcus era. Some protest songs tackle environmental issues such as the band Essence protest pop song Mas Dan ang Kapaligiran 1987 and Glock Lane's rap song Nag-iisang Mundo 2009.